Hey guys, it's Ellen here from the Brilliant Business Moms team, and today I'm going to be talking to you about using Pinterest and Zapier together. As you know, around here we love using Pinterest, especially to put things on autopilot. As busy moms and business owners, any shortcuts we can find to help make running our business easier is a big thing. And Zapier is one of those ways. We've been using Zapier for a while to help with some of our Facebook lead ads, as well as to connect our Shopify and Teachable accounts. It's a great tool that saves us a lot of time and wasted energy because it automates a lot of the tasks for us that we'd otherwise have to do manually or in a really clunky manner. But today I'm also going to be talking about Pinterest. I'm going to share with you guys a few of the best zaps to use with Pinterest and how they can help your business, whether you're a blogger or a shop owner. First of all, one of the things we love about Zapier is how easy it is to use. It really is very intuitive. Even though I'm the techie one on the team, I love when programs make it easy on us. If you go to zapier.com, you can go and explore all of the different zaps that they have. And you can just type in a zap name to search for it. So in this case, Pinterest, and go ahead and click on that. And if you scroll down, they'll show you some of the most popular zaps. This can be really fun to explore all the different ways that you can use it. But it's easy to kind of get lost in all these details and wondering what should I hook up. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple of the ones that we've found the most beneficial. And I'll show you how to create a zap for yourself. One handy zap is one that will automatically share new WordPress posts on Pinterest. What it does is it takes when you publish a new post and it automatically pins it to your a board. Now, a big caveat with this, one of the most important things about pinning on Pinterest is you really want to pick vertical images. So this app works best if the theme that you're using on WordPress uses vertical images. Another great zap is one that takes your Pinterest content that you pin to certain boards and then adds it to your Buffer queue. Buffer is a social media scheduling tool. And what you can do is queue up content across various platforms and it will automatically share those out at certain times. One of the reasons I think this app is so handy is in particular if you really enjoy being on Pinterest but it's a struggle for you to be on other social media platforms. This allows you just to automate your social media sharing. You can set it so that Zapier pulls Pinterest pins from just one particular board and just adds those straight to your buffer queue. So for example, if you're a food blogger and you're sharing out some different recipes or different chips and you pin a lot of those to one board, you can set it up so then Buffer automatically queues those up and later will share those out on Facebook and on Twitter. And because you're using Buffer, it schedules them out. It doesn't share them all at once. It really helps you schedule out those in the way that you want. Very similar to this is a zap that connects Pinterest to Meet Edgar. We don't personally use Meet Edgar. This app allows you to fill up your Meet Edgar library by just by pinning. So if you use Meet Edgar, this can be a really powerful tool. Again, if you enjoy finding content on Pinterest and you want to be able to just kind of automate your sharing across different platforms. And here's a zap that helps you to find great content to pin on Pinterest. What it does is it takes new items posted in a particular RSS feed and it pins those onto Pinterest. Of course, you can do this for your own RSS feed for your blog, but you can also use it to share content from other friends and influencers in your niche that you commonly pin from. You can set it up to automatically pin their content when they post new posts. Again, this is one that you'll have to be careful with the image sizing, but if you're looking for a way to really automate Pinterest and you know some sources of really quality content, this can be a fantastic resource. Zapier also has the ability to automatically pin new products from several shop platforms. You can automatically pin from Shopify, Magneto, Store Envy, Gumroad, Infusionsoft, or Cloudcart. Now there is a big downside to the Zap. In Shopify, for instance, the main store image that you upload is usually a square, which you really don't want to be pinning to Pinterest. We usually create custom pins and then manually add those into Pinterest before queuing them up in Board Booster. But this might work really well if you have a shop with a ton of items that you're updating pretty frequently and you just want to automate that process. It also works if you have a Shopify theme where you can have a vertical image for your main product image. So this one might be one that you want to look into for your own shop just to kind of automate some of your social media sharing. You can also use Zapier as a great way to connect with your team or fellow bloggers and business owners that you want to partner with. For instance, if you want to share a lot of the pins that you're pinning with a friend because you pin a lot of the same niche and you want to find quality pins together, you can use some of the zaps that either add new pins to a Trello board, for instance, or even Google Drive. 
This can also be great if you're looking for inspiration for website design or branding. You can even use Zapier to create new rows in a Google Sheet from all the pins that you're pinning. So right now I'm just going to walk you through creating a Zap and show you how easy it is to set up. The one I'm going to show you is just share Pinterest pins via buffer. Now what you can do, whether you find a Zap via their explore feature or you go directly to a link, you're just going to click the use the Zap button. And Zapier walks you through the process of creating your Zap. You'll see that they're telling you in the first place that this will trigger when their new pin is added to a board. We're going to hit continue. You can see here that we've already connected our Pinterest account, but if you hadn't, they would prompt you to connect your Pinterest account and log in. Once you log in, they give you the ability to test that connection and make sure it's working right, which you can see it says success. You can also connect multiple accounts. We're going to hit save and continue. Then you just select the board that you want to pull pins from. It's going to give you all of the boards on your account, including group boards that you're a part of. Now you'll probably want to pick one of your own boards to pull content from if you're going to be scheduling it out over other social media. But if you had a group board that you were a part of with some friends in your niche, you could also pick that group board because the, you know that you could trust the content that was being pinned there. So in this case, I'm going to go to our Planners, Time Management, and Organization for Moms board. And I'm going to click that and hit Continue. And what Zapier does is they test to make sure that this is going to work. So you just hit Fetch and Continue. And they let you know if the test is successful or not. And then we're going to hit Continue. Next, Zapier is letting us know that we're going to be adding these pins to Buffer. So we're going to connect our Buffer account. It'll prompt you to log in, and you're just going to give Zapier access to Buffer. You can go ahead and hit the Test button to make sure that connection is good. And they let you know that it's a success. Then we're going to save and continue. First, they prompt us to choose a profile. So you can see here we have our Twitter account connected, but if you're using Facebook or even Instagram, you can pick one of those as well. You're just going to select the one you want. And it's going to let you know that Buffer will be pulling the note that's underneath the pin in for the text of the sharing. So it will be really important that you have an accurate pin description that you are willing to share on other social media. And then it's also letting you know the image that's going to get shared. And then we're going to hit continue. And it's going to let you create a test one to make sure that it's working. So we're going to hit create and continue. And Zapier will automatically turn that zap on for you. Now, if you're not ready for it to go on, you can turn this off, which I'm going to do in this case. And then we can go to our dashboard to see our other zaps. So that's how you set up a zap. It's really a very simple process. No matter which zap you're going to be hooking up to Pinterest or whatever other apps that you want to use. Zapier offers several plans, and one of them is actually a completely free plan. You can make two-step zaps and connect the tools that you use the most. There are a lot of apps that are considered premium apps on Zapier. As you can see here, connecting Facebook lead ads or Salesforce or Infusionsoft, there's a few more here. So if you want to connect apps that are premium, you will need to have a paid account. But a lot of the zaps are available under their free plan. You just might be limited by the number of zaps that you can do. Having a paid account also allows you to filter your data, which we use for some of our zaps when we're connecting Teachable and Shopify, for instance but you can definitely get started on the free plan and see how it goes for you. There's a lot you can do with Pinterest and Zapier. You may just want to go in and do some exploring and decide if it's something that you want to try out. We always love finding new shortcuts and ways to make business easier on ourselves so we can spend less time doing some of the more tedious tasks and we can focus on the things that make the biggest difference. And now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.